It is now thought by many scholars that the Romans may have used the quill as a writing instrument. However, there is no evidence that firmly establishes this. The earliest known depiction of the quill is in the church of San Vitale in Ravenna and dates from around 546 to 549. Here are later examples of quills. The first comes from a 17th century writing set. And this is an 18th century example. Quills are cut with knives, specifically ground for the purpose. These are from the 16th century. Mechanical cutters were introduced in the 17th century, and this French example dates from the first half of the 18th century. This is a quill broken by Lord Tennyson and thrown to the floor, from which it was recovered by a local farmer, William Thomas, who was waiting to be paid by the poet. The quill was kept by Thomas's family for about a hundred years, before being donated to the museum. I'm now going to demonstrate how to cut a quill. Each person that cuts a quill has their own particular method, although there is a classical way. This is my way. Before cutting a quill, it has to be prepared by immersing in cold water for about two hours, then cured or dutched by heating. The traditional method for this is by plunging it into hot sand. The outer skin is then stripped off. So the first cut is to take off the end. Then make a second cut, a shorter cut, about halfway down. The inner pith is then removed. And the shoulders are then formed. Finally, I make the slit and shape the nib as I require it. You can make either a straight cut or, for italic writing, an oblique cut. In Victorian times, quill tips were bought in bundles or complete and ready cut in boxes. The quill made it into the age of the fountain pen. Here is a very early French Billon fountain pen of around 1749 with a quill nib. The weight on the left acted as a sort of passive piston which encouraged the ink in the reservoir to flow towards the nib. With the arrival of this new technology we end the video. The steel nib pen and the fountain pen may be the subject of a later Virtual Museum of Writing video.